What's going on guys? Welcome back to today's video. So before we get started today, I do want to ask you guys right off the bat to please hit that like and subscribe button. So we're making good progress and trust me, I would say that maybe within, I don't want to jinx ourselves, but I would say that within three videos, hopefully we can hear this thing start up. That would be three weeks, three to four weeks. Um, so yeah, and that's why I'm asking you guys to hit that like and subscribe, please don't forget. And to kick off today's video, so uh, we actually took off the headers, so, well we took off one side, you guys can see it's gone. But yeah guys, so we got this header removed, and the reason why we got it removed is because this side is pretty much done and ready to get welded. So it's sitting on the floor over there. And uh, yeah, so right now we are waiting on a 90 and that's about it. So we will be removing this side as well and uh, that should be it for the headers and waste gates. So hopefully we should have that stuff in on Friday, Justin, and then we can get that. Um, well, we wouldn't bolt it on the car just yet because we gotta take the engine back out. And uh, yeah, so as for today's update, we are going to be working on the cold side. So we do have to get our blow off valve in place. And so here's our uh, our flange. And I think this is just gonna be one of those things where we just gotta wing it. I think we gotta get it as tight to the, the main pipe as possible, just so we can get the clearance that we need. So hopefully this turns out well. Um, I don't know, what do you think, Justin? I'm about to find out if it yeah, turns right. out well. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think, I don't know, I think there's a little bit of room for error just because this is about what, like half inch thick. So we can take off little by little and just kind of work our way down. <laughs> but yeah, so, all right, let's, uh, I'll go ahead and get this pipe removed and then, so we just mark it and then hit it with a hole saw. So we're gonna go ahead and poke it right here, dude. What do you think? Mm -hmm. We'll just uh... Oh, it went through. Did you imagine it was that soft? Seriously. I love aluminum, dude. Yeah, seriously, it's awesome. <laughs> it's so easy. If this was steel right now, we would be about 50 minutes Halt from being done. Yep, especially on the on the wall, dude. Yeah, I know. It's freaking crazy. What do you think? Oh. Nice. It came out really clean. Again, we love aluminum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Too breezy. Let's see how much. Uh, smaller dude it's not too bad but again we just got to work with it I think and then uh, shave it down with the Dremel I think it'll get us what we need to be all right let's, I guess let's see if this works so we're gonna try grinding it first and then if that doesn't work we're gonna hit it with one of these yeah. that's not doing shit all right well that was a bust um, I would say it's about the same, dude. You're doing much. You need something that'll take off more material. Yeah, that's not working. Don't know what that's for, but not for not for cutting aluminum. Nothing like good old jack off power, dude. Yup. How much it took off over here already? That was five minutes, if that. Okay, guys, so this is actually very challenging. Um, I kind of gave up on trying to grind the hole right now, the actual diameter of this pipe for our blow off valve, so, or the flange. Um, so, what I am doing right now is I'm actually shaping it 
So it sits flush on that Y pipe and then I'm gonna run the marker all the way around it just to see exactly what I need to shave down. And uh, yeah, so all I've been doing is using a flapper disc. This is what it's called, right? Uh, flapper disc. Uh, that's what it's called. Yeah, flat disc. Which is getting kind of dull, Justin. So we might need a new one. Anyways, I've been hitting it with this and shaving a little bit off at a time just so I don't, I guess, uh, overdo it. And also making sure that this is I guess perpendicular to our Y pipe. So it needs to be facing straight up and down. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep chipping away and see what happens. All right guys, I think we're just about done shaping this thing up. It actually came out really good for doing it by hand. Um, check that out, look at that. Is that even focused? Yes. This looks like a gap, but it really isn't. So there's like no light that goes all the way around it. I mean, there is some light, but they should be able to weld that. At least we're assuming they can weld that. We're not the experts here, to, but just by looking at this bead, it looks super thick. All right, guys, so we got this thing figured out. Um, hopefully, wait, hold on. Let's wait for that car to go by. That good old vet that's gonna get a spanking once this, once this car is done, dude. But, um, all right, so this thing is done. We actually, I needed Justin for this, so again, Engine is tilted forward, so there's no way that I can fit this in here. But he did push it up, I would say maybe like two inches, if that, and it clears. So it actually clears between this um, radiator support bracket and our water pump pulley. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out and show you guys what that looks like on the bottom side. So that's the bottom side and our wastegate. Take this off. It's actually gonna go on like that. There it is. It's gonna be nice and tucked. Dude, look how much, uh, how close we were to that bracket. Yes, that could have been bad. I didn't even think about that. But she fits, dude. Mm -hmm. So that'll give us room to run our uh, vacuum lines too and all that good stuff. So. Sweet. We're all set there, and then I think that's pretty much it for the cold side. We have been slacking over here, so we actually haven't figured out this pipe yet. Our turbo is just laying there, by the way. So we have to figure out a pipe that will go from here to the turbo, actually, right? Yeah, and yeah, then, the last thing. And yeah. then we gotta fix this pipe over here. Yeah, we gotta fix that one. That one's got a little short, but I think it was scrapped. So um, we also didn't take into account that the fact that engine's gonna come up a little bit. So we probably should not make that until the, in, the transmission is in place. Yeah. But yeah, so this is done. Unfortunately, we don't know how to weld aluminum yet, but we bit, will be getting a welder. So I don't know when that'll happen, but we will be getting one. And um, is that it? Is that it for wastegates? And well, wastegates, we do have to wait on that part tomorrow. Then after that, those are getting welded. And then cold side can get welded yep. and it's done. So, all right, cool. So I think that's pretty much going to conclude today's video, guys. Again, please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys next week.